you're wondering why we're not deployed yet, it's because there are you know, a million issues that have to be in place before we send you into the field. Now I know there's uh, many of you who are kind of chomping at the bit to get into Port-au-Prince. We can't just get people on a plane and send them down there. It doesn't work like that. A, we probably would never be able to land in Port-au-Prince. B, when you get there and get off the airplane and say, we're here, we're here to help, you are another mouth to feed, another head to shelter, um, and you won't have your own supplies and equipment with you. And that is not what that region needs right now. Trisha is our Creole speaker, so very, very important part of the team. We're going to need you. Okay. So whoever gets to you first? Yes. So the GO team was founded in 2008 through a federal grant, and the idea was to put together a multidisciplinary, deployable medical team that could go into the field and help during times of crisis. Today we have brought together the volunteers who have agreed to go into the field for the first deployment into Haiti. I'm currently an anesthesiologist finishing up my training at Hopkins and um, I really feel not only compelled to help my people but to use specifically the acute care, critical care and surgical skills that I've acquired here to help over there because I know that they're needed the most at this time, especially where all the trauma is going on. The GO team was designed to be as multidisciplinary as possible and that means that we have everything from doctors and nurses, physicians assistants, uh, nurse practitioners, dietitians, pharmacists, you name it, uh, they're on the team. Everyone will have their own personal medical equipment. In addition, it's likely that we will be sending a cache of medical supplies and equipment, food and water to go with the team. The idea is to be as self-supportive once we get into country as possible. In the first phase, it's going to be all about trauma care and patient care, but we do need to start thinking long term. Start working with community health partners there, bring them in with you when you do procedures, teach them how to do health assessments. And I can tell you so many people appreciate your doing this. I'm one of them, and most other people are too.